Man United take on Southampton in what some might say is a must win for Eric Ten Hag. Is his managerial position in doubt after a terrible start to the season? The Premier League is finally back. Man United play the first game on Saturday against Southampton in an absolutely must win game. Will we see the players that we have been begging to see? Will we see some players be benched? Let's get into this video. Welcome to the Red Devils then. Man United take on Southampton on Saturday in the lunchtime kickoff. The Premier League is finally back after what felt like years of an international break. An international break is always bad when it comes after a loss, especially a loss to your biggest rival in a game where they absolutely demolished you in every sense of the word. So getting back to Premier League action, finally, obviously the manager is under huge pressure. The club is under massive massive pressure will we see some changes will we see some players that we've been dying to see come off the pitch will we see some players coming onto the pitch that we really would want to see but it's going to be an interesting game what we need i personally think is not just a win but what we need in this game is we need to see those three very very important words that apparently no one has seen for three years style of play are we going to see some new tactics from Ten Hag? Are we going to see him implement some new ways in which we are going to play moving forward for the rest of the season? Who knows? But let's start with the team. Obviously in goal, Andre Onana picks himself. We have just heard that Luke, we heard two reports in the space of about six days. First, we heard Luke Shaw is on his way back and could be back for Southampton. A few days later, we heard it's probably impossible he won't be back for Southampton. So... It looks like Mazrawi and Dalo keep their spots at the fullback positions. Now, already after one game against Liverpool and an opposed bad game for the Netherlands, Matthijs de Litt has once again come into very, very bad criticism from a whole lot of people, ex-players, pundits, who are now saying that he's clearly not the real deal. And... Harry Maguire is back in with a shout. Now, if Harry Maguire starts this game, I have absolutely no idea what the manager is trying to do. We've spent so much money bringing Matthijs the Lit in, who is a defender who can play the way the manager wants to play. So if Harry Maguire is in this team, it's going to be, it's going to, I think, cause a lot of waves in the fan base. I know a lot of fans do like Matthias Tillett. I'm one of them. I'm also one of the fans that don't mind Harry Maguire, but for the transition we are making, I don't think Harry Maguire fits and I wouldn't want him um, to play against Southampton. But my team would still be Martinez and Tillett. But considering all the pressure Ten Hag is, on, is under, I'm assuming he might go with the players that he trusts. We all know how the trust thing works with Eric Ten Hag. So that'll be very, very interesting. Now, midfield. Midfield is a very, very interesting topic now because Manuel Lugate had quite a good international break, but now we're told that he's ill. Um, he has a bit of fatigue. He's not feeling too good. He's obviously on his way. He might already be back in Manchester, but will we see him play against Southampton? The answer is no. I can assure you that Casemiro will start in that midfield. Um, Lugate might come on for... 20 minutes maybe a half an hour but knowing Eric Ten Hag he's going to and also you have to I'll speak about this towards towards the end but I think obviously Casemiro has kind of let him down if you want to put it like that but he has to really go with players that he trusts I think so I think that midfield will be Casemiro, Kobe Manu and Bruno Fernandes. The wingers obviously will be Ahmad on the right, Marcus Rashford on the left and we'll go with Joshua Xerxes up front. Now this game, as I said in the beginning, is extremely important, but the manager is almost in a corner, I think, and now has to use players that he trusts. I don't actually think Ugarte will really be involved. Um, he will have to use players that he trusts. Hence why I was saying Harry Maguire, I think, really is in with a shout. I really think Harry Maguire can make an impact and can not make an impact. Harry Maguire will definitely have a space back in that team, I think, because He's someone who's been there for a very long time. He's experienced. Um, he knows the ins and outs of the club. And he is a trusted player of Eric Ten Hag, although they had their issues. He's proven himself last season and proved himself again at the beginning of the season. So um, I, I have a really, really strong inclination that Harry Maguire will start against Southampton. Although anything can happen. 
I'm dead certain that Manuel Ugarte will definitely not be will not be in, involved. Which brings me to um, another point on Marcus Rashford. Obviously, Marcus Rashford has not been spoken about at all, considering the start that he's had to the season, which is absolutely incredible, considering all the palters that have gone in on Casemiro and a few other players as well. But Marcus Rashford has really been nowhere yet. He starts every single game, and I can assure you he will start the Southampton. Now, there's two points to consider here. The one, is he starting because Eric Ten Hag just trusts him? He's been there forever. He's a player from the youth. He's obviously on massive wages. He's apparently Man United star player, our best paid player. Is Eric Ten Hag simply just using him for the sake of that? Or point number two, is it just an ego thing? Is it that the manager wants to prove again that he can get the best out of Rashford like he did in his first season? I think Marcus Rashford is a player that needs to be played to play into form. But unfortunately, we have a player that is better than him and that is in form. Whenever Garnacho has come onto the pitch, something happens, a goal or an assist. Um, and I think Marcus Rashford definitely does not deserve to start, but he will start, which brings me back to my point of the players that man, the players that Eric Ten Hag will pick come this Saturday will be players that he trusts. It will be players that he believes can do something for him, can get a result for him. And I think judging by the opening games of the season, he will go with Harry Maguire, he will go with Casemiro, he will go with Marcus Rashford. Um, I will be very surprised if the lit is on that field when we start. If Ugarte is there, I'd be very, very surprised. Obviously, Rashford is undroppable. I did a video about this. Rashford is completely undroppable. And the thing is that the, the season actually kicks on now. We're not going to have an international break for a very, very long time. We have Europa League games coming up. We have League Cup games coming up. And there's going to be a lot of opportunities for Eric Ten Hag to fail, unfortunately. And a lot of people are waiting for that to happen. We've already had stories about Thomas Tuchel. Uh, we hear stories about Ruud van Nistelrooy all the time. Cristiano Ronaldo has come out saying that Eric Ten Hag needs to do better. He needs to consult former players. He needs to talk to former players. Um, and I think we can clearly see the agenda from the media and those around or close to Manchester United that Eric Ten Hag is already on very, very thin ice. And if one thing goes wrong, I think it could be very bad come, come Christmas. So I think what Eric Ten Hag will have to do or what he will be thinking to do is very, very simple. He has to go with the players that have proven they can be trusted. He has to go with players that in the past did actually get him results. And is this going to help us in the long run? No. But is it going to help a manager who is under extreme pressure? Yes. So I'm going to have to give him the benefit of the doubt on this. I'm going to have to support any team that he puts out there. Um, it's going to be a team that he trusts fully to go out and get a result. I don't. I know a lot of people have been speaking about. We have to see a stamp of style of play. We have to see this new tactic that he's going for. I personally think that we're going to see Harry Maguire. What new tactic? Not going to exist. My score prediction for the Southampton game will be a tight game. I don't see many goals in it. I'd be happy for us to nick it, but I see us getting a two 0 win. Um, I think we should be able to keep them out. They haven't won a game yet. But it's gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's always tough. It's a potential banana skin. It's a potential going wrong game. But I think United will be able to win it, not comfortably, but I think a two 0 win will be good if we just keep things tight at the back. But let me know your thoughts in the comments on what you think the starting eleven will be, who Eric Ten Hag will choose, and as well as your score predictions. If you enjoy the content, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video.